Welcome to the uh, Concrete Mix Evaluator tutorial. This is Gary Knight speaking. I'm going to just give you a quick overview of the CME. Uh, first place is uh, to notice the Concrete Mix Evaluator menu item in the upper right hand corner of the menu. You click on that and that brings down the full custom menu for the program. And on the left hand side you will see has a ready mix truck and this is the how you return to the mix design sheet uh, you have a mix profile this is where you enter in your partic particular mix information mix id uh, f prime fc uh, design requirements uh, materials is where you're going to store your materials for putting together your concrete mixes auto blending is a series or a number of uh, different custom blending functions that the program has uh, for blending aggregates. It's a very strong aggregate blending program. Uh, the next item over is the lab batch. Once you've finished um, your mix design, you can put up a lab batch and this will be portion it uh, for your lab mixes. So you can have one cubic foot mix, a two and a half cubic foot mix, etc. Um, <clears throat> graphs is just an uh, expand, expanded gr graph presentation of the mixes. Submittal letter, the program will uh, print out a sim simplified one-page submittal letter. Uh, there is some ACI information embedded into the program. The about is where you're going to enter in your information on your company. So your company name, your address, uh, contact information, etc. And um, then when you're finished using the CME, you should exit out using the exit CME key, the red X. So the first thing we're going to do is <clears throat> talk about the philosophy of the program. Um, basically, you want to enter in your cementitious content information. Um, and you do that by clicking on the chevron, and you, that will give you access to the list of materials that you've entered into the program for cements. In this case, I'm going to choose this Type 1 Portland cement. I'm going to also enter in an F-ash. The next thing is to come down and input your designed air content, and I'll put 5% for this mix design. And my water demand, I know that I'm going to design my mix around 300 pounds of water. If you like to think in gallons, you can just click on the word water and say enter in 38 gallons of water, and you'll see that it changes to 316 pounds. So you can think in gallons or you can think in pounds. Um, <clears throat> So for our first mix, let's enter in 400 pounds of cement, 100 pounds of fly ash. And you'll see as, as I do this, it calculates uh, the absolute volume and the percentage of each. Uh, in this case, I got 80% cement, Portland cement, 20% ash, uh, 2.04 cubic feet of cement, 0.63 cubic feet of fly ash. Um, <clears throat> my water is 1.35 cubic feet. My, I'm sorry, my water is 5.07, and uh, my air is 1.35. So always leave the aggregate package to last. So let's uh, put some stone in the mix. So I'm going to choose my stone, and I'm going to have a natural sand right here, my N2S sand. And let's just say I'm going to start off with uh, 1,800 pounds of stone. And so far, the mix has 19.8 cubic feet. And what I need to do is uh, yield out the mix with sand. I could type in, say, 1,000 pounds of sand. And that would give me 26.16 cubic feet down here. Or if you notice the gray buttons on the left-hand side, the yield aggregate buttons, so my sand is aggregate number two. If I want to yield the mix using the sand, the sand to yield, I would just click on that yield button and you'll see that it automatically provides 27 cubic feet. Uh, <clears throat> a few other things to point out is that as you're putting the mix together, it does these calculations for you, your, your plastic density, your paste fraction, mortar fraction, sand aggregate ratio is important to keep track of. The concrete mix evaluator also plots the combined aggregate retained um, sieve analysis, which you can see here. 
And you can see here are my guidelines. This is the uh, 22 um, 6 guidelines. If you want to change this target graph, you would come up here to this area. It says aggregate gradation limits. And I have a few items put in here. If we were doing an SCC mix, we may use this as a guideline for our mix. Or if you have uh, the tarantula curve uh, made popular by Tyler Lay, that's also very interesting. Um, so you can have these choices. Uh, you can input uh, your own graph as well. And we can cover that in a different um, session. And if you'd like to look at the uh, Power 45 curve, you can come over here and go to Graphs and choose Power 45. And you can see it comes up like that. And what you do is you put in your top size aggregate. So if your one inch is your one inch is this, your inch and a half would be like so. And you can see the Power 45 curve. And to return back to the main design sheet, you bring down the custom menu and click on the mix design sheet. And as you can see, we return here. Now some other things. Um, under each of these items, there's a, a number of items here as well. You can see post mix the, mix the database. That's how you're going to save mixes that you decide that uh, you want to save to a custom database. This is how you retrieve the mixes from the database, manage a database. Here's another spot to enter in add mixtures, and we'll cover that in a moment. Uh, gradation analysis. Uh, this is uh, a sheet that was uh, requested. This prints out your individual aggregates and your combined grading, and you can choose whether to have uh, show retained or show passing. And to return to the mix design sheet, you come over here, click on the ready mix truck, and there we go. Uh, basically, you always want to return to the mix design sheet, the, the, this major sheet. Um, Here's another gradation design sheet. This is also known as the Walmart sheet. This is a very uh, custom, uh, form that is uh, very popular with designing slabs for Walmart. They require this form. So to return back to the mix design, you come over here to the ready mix truck, hit return, and there you go. Now to enter in add mixtures to finish up our mix, um, you come over here to where it says in this section of the add mixture section of the Concrete Mix Evaluator, hit Enter, and uh, let me enlarge this. Here we go. And so again, you click on the Chevron, and we're gonna we're gonna choose a water reducer, and we're gonna pick a, an air entraining agent. And you'll notice that we have ounces per hundred weight. That's ounces per hundred weight of cementitious product, ounces per yard. So you can think in ounces per hundred weight, or you can think in ounces per yard. If you want to think in ounces per hundred weight, you check the box. If you want the admixture to calculate on the total cementitious content, in other words, if you have cement and ash, um, and the admixture will be uh, ounces per hundred weight of total cementitious, you would check this box. If you uncheck it, it calculates the uh, ounces per hundred weight based on just the very top cementitious material in, in the sheet. And again, here's the uh, ounces per yard cost. It'll calculate the cost of your admixtures. And also, if you have um, in, in your um, admixture database, uh, there is a place to select if you want to uh, account for the water that's in the admixture. And if you select that, then, then the admixture water uh, not calculated or, or calculated. These, these items will change. It'll say admixture in water. And we'll cover that in another video. So I return back to the mix design sheet over here. And I'm going to in-select. Um, I forgot to put in, let's um, say, 5 ounces per 100 weight of water reducer and uh, 4 ounces of air and training agent. And you can see, so I got 94 cents worth of admixture in my concrete mix design. Come back over here. So we've completed our basic mix design, and um, whether or not this is going to be a successful concrete mix remains to be seen because you have to do a trial batch. Uh, the graph, it looks uh, gap graded. And just to give you an idea, if you wanted to improve the grading, 
I could come over and input some P gravel and I could come up to my concrete mix evaluator come to auto blending come down to workability harshness and um, let's say I want to have a, a workability target of 36 and a harshness of uh, 64 maybe those items are specified in the job specification hit calculate and you can see we found the solution and so the mix would be improved here by adding in uh, almost 600 pounds of pea gravel and again so you can see your aggregate package here you have basically 42 percent stone 37 percent sand uh, 20 percent pea gravel and um, also calculates the combined FM of the mix, 5.17. So that's the combined FM of all the aggregates in the mix. And the FM of the sand that is pulled from um, the sand database as well. Also, if you have more than one sand in the mix, it, say we have a, um, we're going to put some manufactured sand in here. And so say we need uh, 500 pounds of uh, manufactured sand and we're going to yield that mix out and so you can see this is the uh, FM of the blended sand so the the combination of the manufacturing manufactured sand with the natural sand has a total FM of 2.841 and thank you for attending uh, I hope you uh, enjoy the other uh, other tutorials as well this is Gary Knight saying thank you very much